Yo, what is going on guys? It is Chris and today I just wanted to make a quick tutorial on what I do with Kingdom Hearts 3 when it comes to playing the base game versus playing the uh, now released randomizer mod. So the first thing I wanted to really just discuss is uh, what I've been doing um, with the game when I'm trying to switch between the randomizer and the regular game. So um, go here i'm going into my save folder and in the save games folder we have the kh3 sv2 folder and then this is all of my backups so here i have a bunch of uh save files um this is the base game save files this is so all of the uh, game files that I had um, before setting up a randomizer. Um, I also have some um, all pro code save files that I'm making for speedrunning purposes. Um, and so I basically just had a separate folder for those. And what I would do, and what most people I think do, is they copy these uh, system bin or these bin uh, files. And they just have that backed up there for the randomizer. Um, because what ends up happening when you install the randomizer is it will say that your save data is corrupted. And it will delete all of your save data and create uh, new save data for the randomizer. Now, uh, if you didn't really catch it earlier on, I do actually have two folders. So this is my base game folder. And then this is my rando folder and it's marked rando so if you go in here for the save games this has all of the save data uh set up for randomizer and this is really what's important that's how the randomizer is really able to work um with the specifically with the garden of assemblage um so really just that's is really how it works and that's pretty much why it deletes all of your data uh, whatever you're switching between just playing the red regular game and the randomizer so i have two separate folders and basically this is what i decided or this is what i figured out that i could do um to switch between the regular base game and randomizer without having to reinstall um all of the files so this is to show how that's set up right now. I'm going to boot up Kingdom Hearts 3. Um, and I'm just going to show you that it's going to be running on um, just the regular base game. Like no um, Garden of Assemblage mod or anything like that. Um, I'm also not really going to cut this video up or anything. Just to show that I didn't do any like uh, weird stuff to get it to work. Um, so that'll be that. So I'm in the game. I have my save data already completed. So it's going to, and you can see from the menu that it's just the regular base game. And you just load it up really simple. I also have a bunch of mods, so in case your game doesn't look like this, that's why. So, go to the world map, and there, as you can see, this is the regular base game. So now, what I'm going to do is switch all of my folders over to being um, my rando saves. So, as you see here, again, I got the other folder. So what I'm going to do is take my base game folder and just change the name of the folder to not be straight straight up Kingdom Hearts 3. So this one, I'm just going to say base game. And then the one where it's the rando, I'm just going to remove that. 
all I'm doing is changing the file uh, path. By changing the name, I change the file path, and that makes it so when I boot up the game, it's going to look for this file path, and it's going to load everything in this file path. And as I showed earlier, this has all of the rando saves, so I don't have to remake anything because it's already been made. Now, another thing, because I showed that I didn't have the um, rando mods installed um, because it was just the base game. Um, this is going to be a slight, this is like a an extra step that you don't have to do, but I did it because I was able to. So I'm going to go into my games folder, and as you can see, I actually have two instances of KH3. So this is the base game, and then this one I have marked as rando. Pretty much the only difference with this is that the one that's marked as rando has the packs that have the randomizer and the randomizer seed. So as you can see here in my mods folder, I have my Garden of Assemblage randomizer pack, and I also have, this is, yeah, so this is my uh, randomizer seed that I have installed. And if you, basically the only reason why I did this is because I had the space on my computer to be able to make a separate game folder so I can just change the path of the game folder instead of having to um, manually delete the uh, packs or just uh, change the paths of the packs. Honestly, the quickest way to uh, do it if you don't have the space is to just change the path. And by path, I mean where it says dot .pack, you would just add like a dot .xxs or something else to change that. Um, and then won't read that pack but if you're like me and you have disposable space on your hard drive then you can duplicate the game folder and then just change the file name or the folder name so that's what i'm going to do so i'm going to change the folder name of kh3 just to base and change the file name of kh3 rando just back to kh3 so now when I boot up Kingdom Hearts 3, it's going to look, again, it's going to look for this KH3 path, and then the files are going to boot up off, off of the Kingdom Hearts 3 path in my documents folder. So we're going to do that right now, and if this worked as intended, it shouldn't give me the pop-up to um, change, or that my save data is corrupted and it's going to have to uh, recreate the save data. All right, checking save data. There it goes. Works as works as it's never been. Acts like it's already been installed. So yeah, there you can see. Kingdom Hearts three developed by Water KH and Critic Perfect. Shout out to them for the randomizer mod and all their work. And as it comes up, you should boot up straight into the Garden of Assemblage. There you go. Got everything running and all of the rando goodness or whatever. And didn't have to, and you pretty much, is this pretty much a seamless uh, switch between just having the base game set up and switching to randomizer. This works also, again, if you say wanted to speed run uh, KH3, which actually, now that I'm mentioning that, I completely forgot. Let me get out of the game. The way that uh, this is set up, um, when you go to the documents folder, is say like you wanted to do speed running of KH3, and you wanted to make saves for each of the world. So originally, what I have is I have all of my world backups, so 
all the saves. So I made separate folders for each of the worlds. So this is just my base folder that I would base everything off of. Then I got OC, Twilight Town. Uh, I forgot what this is. Oh, this is... Oh, well, anyway, so I pretty much have folders that'll have saves for every single world. So what instead I could end up doing is going back to the Kingdom Hearts 3 base game, making a duplicate of this. So hit copy, hit paste. This nation folder is a subfolder. Okay, so what happened is I actually can't duplicate this if I already have a. The way it's set up is I can't duplicate that. So if I hit copy of the regular folder and then hit paste. Oh, what actually ended up happening is I had still clicked on the folder, so that's why I wasn't working. So I had to click off of it. So then again, I made my uh, game copy or my folder copy, and then I can just change the name of this to whatever world I'm going to do. So let's say this is going to be uh, Twilight Town. So there, I could have all of my saves for Twilight Town be in there, and then I can just change the name of whatever folder I'm not using at the time. It's, it might be a little bit convoluted, but I think it can be pretty quick to just switch between them without having to drag and drop uh, your files in and remembering to like back them up in case you accidentally delete it for some reason. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this rather long tutorial. Um, I I am at the end of the video, but I am gonna timestamp everything, um, hopefully, and also just put the steps as text in the description just to make it uh, too long, didn't uh, watch sort of thing. So yeah, if you did watch this all the way through, uh, thank you and um, yeah.